Hey everybody, Thomas here. So today in the Raspberry Pi groups there was the latest buzz about this uh, new Raspberry Pi Zero. So the five uh, dollar computer in a small form factor. And uh, yeah, many of you are now saying, oh yeah, I want to have it, I want to buy it, but you can't get it anywhere. So I decided I will make something completely different today. As everybody know, the new Raspberry Pi Zero is based on the Raspberry Pi One, only with a little bit with a little bit more memory. So uh, today I want to show you how you convert a Raspberry Pi One to a Raspberry Pi Zero. So first of all, we had to analyze the the schematics of the Raspberry Pi and you can see there is a lot of stuff here like uh, DVI outputs, like a network and USB uh, hub and so on and uh, yeah as we all knew and uh, know that the new Raspberry Pi um, Zero don't have, have this so yeah I just traced out the, the outlines of the Raspberry Pi of the one of the Raspberry Pi one as it's the same as it's the same uh, uh, the same CPU and uh, as you can see there is exactly a close gap here so we have the the main CPU here we have the HDMI output here the uh, GPIO here and all the rest here is just the stuff that is not populated on the Raspberry Pi Zero so um, I've uh, done this before so uh, yeah we just do a tracing here and uh, then I'm going to use a special tool to convert it. It's a, a real high-tech tool uh, used by professionals. So um, yeah, so now I'm converting a Raspberry Pi 1 into a Raspberry Pi 0. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to take a little bit more care about this. And um, as you can see, it's quite quite fast. It's uh, much faster than ordering the Raspberry Pi uh, Zero in the internet, uh, and we only get rid of all the stuff that uh, nobody needs. Oh yeah! So as you can see now, um, I have I have the Raspberry Pi, um, yeah, Zero here with. Uh, and uh, so there is the HDMI output, there is uh, the USB uh, power input, there are some GPOs, there is a screen. Okay, my one has even um, analog video out. And then we have a daughter board where we have all the network stuff. Huh? We have the, the, um, the USB uh, hub network converter here, the um, network chip. We have uh, these other headers here and we have the audio out, nobody uses it anyway. So yeah, you can see. It's quite easy to convert a uh, Raspberry Pi 1 into a Raspberry Pi Zero. Um, but actually, don't, don't care about this Pi, it was broken before. Um, I've, I think it's quite funny to see that um, so many people are now, well, yeah, cool, it's a new Raspberry Pi. Actually, it's not a new Raspberry Pi. It's the same, it's the same uh, CPU as used on the uh, old Raspberry 1. So it's... Uh, before it was running at only 700 megahertz and now it's overclocked at 1000 and uh, yeah they stripped off all the unneeded stuff unneeded for some people who actually want to use this in something like robots or um, stuff like this so they've stripped away the inter ethernet connector they did not populate the USB hubs so they only give you the bare metal access to the GP GPIOs and if you want to have an internet connection for it, then you have to add a USB adapter uh, to get a Wi-Fi stick powered, or you have to add uh, a hub to connect your hard disk, like it was before actually on the Raspberry Pi One also because uh, there was this power issue. And um, it's a, it's a quite tiny device for lots of applications if you need uh, a tiny device because you don't have any space. But in general, if you have a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 1B or uh, if you have a Raspberry 2B then yeah if you don't need it there is nothing special on it besides the space and uh, so if you don't need it don't buy it it's actually only a, s a shrinked Raspberry Pi 1 or something like the the module the the Raspberry Pi module with some more features for DIY nerds like uh, makers uh, like we are so but if you don't need it you don't 
need to buy it, you can do everything it can do with uh, Raspberry Pi 1. Uh, you only have to overclock it a little bit. And uh, yeah, the one advantage is compared to the Raspberry, Raspberry Pi 1, it has a little bit more memory. It has uh, 512 instead of 256. So anyway, um, yeah, as I said, don't be afraid, this Pi was broken before. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you next time. Thanks. Bye.